What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Andrew Jack of Robert Ricks. I'm back with another video. We're going to be going through some um, old light shit here real quick. Just check it out. I know you guys love the flashlights and the lights and all that jazz. So let's get in close, shall we? Come in closer. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Get over here. All right. What's up, t t t t t t What's the word? All right. So I have been kind of on a flashlight kick lately. Uh, you guys know it was all about the Robert Bond, Robert Bond, Robert Bond. Uh, and that was kind of cool. And then I got some O lights. And then, I, you know, O lights just keep doing some interesting shit. Uh, I guess I have to be honest with you. They did this one recently where they did elements. Okay. They did elements like fire, water, uh, earth, and air and stuff. And they had like a four pack, but I was like, I can't. I, I can't afford it. But I did get. I did get him get all my stuff over here because we got some little bits of an unboxing. There it is. I did get this one right here. Right here. This is the water one. So I give them props because a couple of things. Uh, a while back, I had a thing called uh, Kanaloa. I had a company called Kanaloa Systems. And, you know, it was about water and whatnot. And uh, I was like huge proponent of clean water and things of that nature and all this other fun stuff. I think I did a video on it. You guys can go look that shit up. So when I had to pick which element I liked the most, well, I said I liked water. So I went with the water one. So boom, there's the box without the wrap on it. You can see they did a spot varnish on the actual case itself which is really nice because this being a limited edition warrior mini 2 ti uh in this water format i i just think that it's kind of cool and the box is was really well built you know it's kind of thick and <laughs> kind of thick and um really sturdy like it will withhold and stand the test of time so again look at that varnish on there that's that's just really cool so i give them props on the packaging okay and then a little details little details well thank you on the inside you know what i'm saying yeah you see this right there yes there's a little thank you in there yes yes i did indeed have a pele can't you so then you open it up and you can see again this the attention to detail very nice got like a little pull here i'm gonna pull on a little bit oh look at that and then it comes forward <gasps> Look at that. Da, 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 da. This has kind of got like a felt coating on this actual little cardboard insert here, which is really cool. And then uh, let's see what else. So as I take the flashlight out, there's more. Okay. So this is the, uh, I don't want to mess anything up. So this right here is a little black box. And this is the charger, you know, the, the little magnetic charger get down so i don't know who at olight does all of their packaging design uh product development and things like that but i gotta say i gotta say bravo bravo folks good job so we've all seen these before and if you had never seen these before basically it's a usb plug plugs in and on the back end is magnetic boom that will charge your uh, flashlight all right so now the flashlight itself on the body on the body you can see maybe you can't but there are some um, embossing on the actual casing itself in the form of water like um the logo that they came up with for water and it even says you know water and it's just really slick like even along uh the top printed in uh, the silver ink so this is pretty cool now obviously i think when i double click it, it's not going to work because i think if i remember correctly you got to take it off you got to open it up there's always like a little separator inside all right let's take the separator off Yep. Go ahead and put it back on. 
Put it back on like that. Get it nice and snug. Boom, boom. Push the button. Bam. Double click. Ba Bam. Boom. 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 Let's see if I hold the button. Cycles through. Off. Double click. Oh, I'm blind. Should not have looked at that. All right, so it's got clip, and it's also got a little secondary little clip right here. And I've actually used this pretty good um, as a retention device on a like a vest or something, um, and have used it pretty effectively. Even though this is really teeny tiny, that right there, that works good as a secondary. So if it falls off of this, it basically was still dangling. So that worked really well. Front end of it has a little bit of a nice little ouchy ouch. If you're like, ah, you had to, you know, handle some biz, you know what I'm saying? What's up, yaggity yak? Yaggity yak. Booyah. So I was really happy. I really wanted to get this guy. So I got the little water deal and... I don't know if they sold out of these or not, but I dig it. I dig it. What else is in the box here? So inside of the box also, oh, wow. Look at this, guys. This is pretty cool. They actually went as far as to do a card. Ugh, this is kind of saucy. Look at this. Again, spot. Uh, spot uh, UV, I guess, on the card. And it's Watawoya. The son of Poseidon dwells in the moon sea, commands the water with his trident, and controls all emotion. You gotta get up. It's cute. You know, it's cute. You know, it's cute. What can I say? Sumu Khan! But I dig it. Again, even, you know, even with some rough translations and whatnot, it's okay. Because it's extra shit, man. It's extra content. There's the README when you first get it. tells you to take that little slit, uh, little yellow piece of plastic out. And then, uh, what is this? Thank you for being part of our Olai family. Your support is why we do this. Enjoy, Olai team. I mean, you know, it's little things, guys. It's little things. So then they've got uh, some little extra replacement get downs and stuff. I think this one is actually the, ah, you know what this is? I know exactly what this is. So remember I was telling you about this back end here? There is another piece to that. I'll show it to you right now. Which I thought was pretty brilliant on their part. Pretty brilliant. Check this out. So, this is a cute little blump, 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 right? And uh, it's also branded with not for climbing. I guess they have to put that not for climbing. And then I thought this had like O light on here. Oh, why am I looking at it in the dark? I have a fucking flashlight. Yeah, that has O-Light on it. So, ingrained inside of the little clip here is O-Ring. I mean, um, O-Light. O-Ring for the O-Light, right? And this basically can go like this. Put that in here like this. Ta-da! So now, you got a little ring to hold it so I've actually utilized that and I like it a lot and then it also comes with uh, a little strap and some uh, a user manual so you know RTFM all right so lots dots I like that I like it I like it a lot I'm gonna put everything back I actually really like the box here so I'm definitely gonna keep this and uh, display it because like I said I am a sucker literal sucker for really good packaging when somebody does good packaging I like lose my mind like I, I just really highly respect it and so as I put everything back in here bop 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 I'll put the card like this right so you can see it's it's a really really good so I mean just the just the packaging on its own good job guys good job so I dig it can you dig it Right? All right, so that was the first one. First thing. Because I got up on their site and I got sucked in. I got sucked in. 
because Robbie Rob, oh come on, Robbie Rob is easy to sell to. Now, they I already had one of their other pins, right? I had the brown one. Well, then they had this guy, also limited edition. Cause you know how old light does, man. They just, they they just, it's like just take my money, just take my money. Now here's what's kind of cool. Wow, look at that. Well, Samir, I was telling you earlier about attention to detail uh, and stuff like that. Hang on. Let me get over here. Okay. This was the case that came with my brown one. Okay. So here we are with a blue one. What did they do? They did the whole case. The whole get down blue. Come on now. Come on now. That's, that's gangster. And they even changed it up a little bit. This one, whoops, this one had like a little slide out, right? So everything slid out, had all your replacement pieces, your USB, and the pin sat in there. This guy, a little different. There's your little uh, extra pin, right? There's part of your USB right there. The rest of the USB on that side. And this guy actually, boom, 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 boom. let's see, does this have a slide also? Let's see, how does it work? It looks like it would uh, basically just come up like this. Oh, yep. So it opens like this, casket style. It's alive. Pull it out. Now, you might be saying, Rob, why, 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 why did you buy uh, another pin when you already had one, right? You might be saying, why, Rob? I don't understand why you had the need to buy a blue light. Well, well. Let me show you, okay? Let me show you something. Same deal, I think, here. Let's see. Do I? Is there something that I got to take out? Uh, push button. Okay, so nope. So this whole uh, assembly on the very top of the pin, this is where all the light action happens, okay? Live action, baby. So on the body itself is... A little deal where you just push it down like this and there now the pin is out you're ready to write right take off the little rubber nub Boop. let's write a bunch of novels okay but what's this other buttons right here so if I push this button wait did I do it wrong is this button right here where's the button at maybe they're telling me right here to me it says a uh, pin push button and it says LED on where's that button at is it right here? No, that's the laser. That's that's not it. I'm all kinds of confused now. How the fuck does some bitch work? Let's see here. Where's that at? Oh, oh. Is this this the button? No. Oh, it is the button. Okay. So now how do I turn it off now? Oh. Oh, okay. So for all y'all that might get confused, this is now the button to turn the light on. So I push it like this. Hang on. There. Now it's on. Push it again. Okay. Where's the button at? It doesn't really... Is it a button push? Or is it a... It seems like push. Push it up. Oh, push, push up. Push, push up. Then, let's see. I have to find the rest of the... Now, there's all supposed to be a way that the guy up on the top here, there's supposed to be a little green laser pointer coming out the top. Let's see. I might have to do the RTFM on this one. Whoopsie whoop, Robbie Rob. You might have to look at the manual. Let's get the manual. I like this right here. Okay. So, this guy right here, which is the the mechanism to make the pin come out? I don't know how this sits like this. Down button. Oh yeah, it does do it. Wow. Well, okay, so I got it on and off. Now, how do I do the ass in of this bitch? So the ass in to do the the, the green laser to use the pin as a flashlight high white there's a green beam when light is off slide up and hold the button output for the green laser okay 
So I guess I. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's just I hold it up. So holding it up, and it comes on. Hold it off. And then if I just tap it once, ah, tap it once, on off. Now is there different light? Oh, yeah, there is. There's high. There's medium. There's low. And there's moon. So now how do I toggle in the different modes? That's what I want to know. How to toggle. Oh, when the light is on, slide up the button to enter low. Medium, high, or low. Okay, so slide up the button. Okay, so turn it on. Up, up, no. Oh, I see. Slide up, then hold. Maybe that does it. Ah, so I just keep holding it, and it will cycle through, and then let go, on, off. That's how you do it. So you just got to hold it, and now it cycles through. Okay, that's not very intuitive. Holding up to make the green light come on, now that works. That works really good. So it's kind of interesting uh, for anybody who's had one of these before that this is not a button to turn the light on anymore. So... That's interesting. Uh, let's see. No, any website selling Kydex sheets for the M4X Punisher that are ready to ship? No, I do not. Uh, I kind of wish I did because I've got um, two M4X Punishers plus my uh, Relentless. And uh, it would be cool to know places that do because then I would just push a ton of people to them. So if you guys happen to know one, uh, feel free to let me know. Now. I bought those two things and I got some freebies, okay? So one of the freebies I got, which I didn't know how it was going to be, was this little uh, O bulb, O bulb, okay? And I didn't really, you know, I was kind of like, ah, I don't know, what is this fucking thing? You know what I'm saying? Let's uh, let's check it out, All right? So I got it. It's here. I'm going to open it up. Again, you can see on the packaging, they got the, the spot UV varnish type deal on there. So they they really have this consistency between all of their product offerings, which is pretty cool. Um, and then kind of half the fun is like figuring out how the shit works. So right when you open it up, you get a little deal. It shows you how it charges. Um, it says before first use. Please hold the button for two seconds to unlock the product. Please fully charge it. Okay, so please press and hold the button. All right, so let's see. That would assume, as I look at that then, there's only one button on this thing, right? That's what, that's, that's what it implies, right? So now, wow, this is actually kind of neat looking. This is different than I thought. Like, I've seen a lot of photos of this, and I really didn't think a lot of it. But now, oh, that's neat. Oh, so, yeah, it's got like a little magnetic base here. It's sitting inside of this packaging. Like, I have to actually, you know, pick it up because it's, it's magnetized into this, uh, this little base here. Let's see. Oh, look, because that's where the plug is. And so, of course, the plug is uh, magnetic. Ta-da! All right, so let's pop that on. Boop, there it is. So it's pretty interesting. Like you could, you could probably figure out novel ways to mount this type of thing in like woodworking or something like that, and boop, put this thing wherever you want it. Let's see how this thing turns on. I'm kind of intrigued now. I had no idea how this thing was going to work, and it looks like. It looks like there's also this additional round. Let's see if I can get it out of here. It's kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck in this thing. Maybe I'm not supposed to take this out. Am I not supposed to take this out? No, I think I am. Is this a coin or something? What is No, it's got some kind of tape on it. No, hang on. Hang on. Ah, fuck you. I will not be defeated. There it is. Got it. Well, I don't know what the fuck this thing is. It's Olight. 
got a whole lot of plastic on it. I'm going to get all this plastic off. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is Illuminate Your World is what it says right here. Does this thing stick to it? It does stick to it. Okay, so they actually kind of had that idea. So this is some little metal piece. It's got some adhesive on the back. So you can stick this somewhere, right? And then this little orb, wah, sticks on like that. There you go. Now, let's see. How does it? Oh, well, that was pretty straightforward. I just squeezed the bottom. Boom. Okay. All right. So I squeezed it. <laughs> I squeezed it. <laughs> All right. So it's got... Uh, Let's see what we got here. 55 lumens, 3.5 lumens, 7 lumens. Oh, there's a red light. Okay, so let's see. How do I... Is there instructions on this guy? I don't think I see any instructions. Let's see. Yeah, there's no instructions. So I guess we just fucking click. Okay. Click, click. Click. Click, 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 click. Okay, that does it. Okay, that's on. Click. Off, on. Okay, hold. Oh, brighter. Oh, red. Flashing red. Well, there you go. All right, that's pretty straightforward. Off. Click, hold on. Oh, it remembered the last date. That's cool. Off. Okay, click. Now let's hold it down. Boom, now it's on white. Hold it down again. Boom, brighter. Hold it down again. Red. Oh, it's so evil. Rawr. Hold it again. Flashing. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Remember his last date. Let's check and make sure. Okay. Let's go to white. Turn it off. Turn it on. Okay. Let's go really bright. Bam. Turn it off. Turn it on. It's still bright. Okay. Operation. Pretty straightforward. Hit that bitch. Blam. Slam it on your thing. You've got light wherever you need it. Okay, Olight. I see what you're working with. I see what you're working with. I like it. A little mood light. Cool. I got it for free. This is a freebie. So freebie because I spent money on the blue and the, the, the pin, and it was cool. Now, for some of y'all that don't know, Olight also has this program that you can go sign up for. Anybody can. So just go create an account and everything else. And so while I was up in there, I was looking through the stuff, and one of the things that they had that I could just add to the cart for free was what? Pen replacement nubs. They just gave me a whole box of these motherfuckers. So, inside the box, there was three pens. So, in addition to the, the pen piece right here, I've also got three more. Which is awesome because I've got, um, technically I have three of these pens. One of them's lost. I don't know where it's at. My black one, I don't know where the hell it's at. But my brown one, I know exactly where that one is. And now my blue one, I know exactly where that one is. Uh, it is a little bit different to figure out, you know, how to... Did I do it again? Uh, oh, you just got to push it up. That's the thing. Oh, you know what? I bet. I bet if I look in here, at the very top of this thing, there's probably a little lever pin. Let's see. Yep, yeah, right at the very top very center here is a button and I bet you what happens is yep see it hits the button and if I hold the button there's a laser click it once again so there it is so it's kind of interesting because I guess right down inside of this where that little uh, lever right here is at, there's just a little bit of play so when you push it up it actually has a little pin that will depress that little switch in there and then you're off to the races so that's kind of interesting, considering the fact that you'd have to be pretty exacting with your um, your placement. There we go. Yep. Now I get it. Now I know what I'm doing. And I've hold it up. And now it'll cycle through everything. Turn it off. Hold. And green light. Green light. Doo -doo -doo. And press up again, and it's off. So that's pretty neat. I like that. So that's that. Now, I did have another freebie for being the member and everything. And that's this. Boom. All right. So 
This one's super fucking cute, actually. It's really funny. I showed my daughter this earlier. I said, it's the world's smallest flashlight. So, look at this. We pull it out. Oh, my hell. Look what they did. Look at that. It's a little dude. For him, it's a fucking giant-ass flashlight. Look at that. It's like a giant flashlight. I kind of want to, like, leave it on the display here. But it's supposed to, like, actually work. So, the light is supposed to work, work. So, let's see. I wonder if there's a way for me not to ruin homeboy. Okay, there we go. Oh, my God. Come on. Look at that. That is redonkulous, guys. That. <laughs> Somebody in Olights is having too much fucking fun. That's all I got to say. All right. So, there's no instructions. It just came with the little cute dude. Um, and it came with this. Uh, let's see. Anything on the packaging? Nothing on the packaging. It's called the X9R Cell. Let's see what, is there anything on the back of the, oh, here we go. How to operate on off says, uh, loosen the head, turn the light on, tighten to turn off. Okay. So I guess I just undo it like this. Oh my God. It works. <laughs> Look at the fucking little teeny tiny fucking flashlight. Come on. Come on. That is so fucking funny. It fucking works. It fucking works. You tighten it. It's off. You loosen it up. There you go. Come on. Come on. Oh, light. You're fucking ridiculous. This is great. It's just great. Look at it. It's a teeny tiny little fucking. You could, you could put it like a little necklace. You could wear the motherfucker like a necklace. That's dope. Oh, I'm sorry. That's that's dope. Olight salute. So obviously you guys can tell I'm a flashlight fucking nut at this point. Um I love the products thus far. I think they're they're being very innovative with their marketing. I think they're being very innovative with their um community partnership. So you anybody can go sign up. And I think you get you get points. So when you buy these products, you get points. And then as time goes on, your points get you in these different tiers. And these different tiers, there's little things that they give you. For example, I think one tier when you get to uh, the level I just got, you get a three-day advance start on different shit. So, you know, there you go. Uh, what is this? Uh, howdy all, Paula is in a hospital with COVID. Oh, man. I hope she's okay. Hope everything works out for her. Uh, what is this? Bro, I told you Carolina Reaper Lube was a bad idea. If you had no shit, I would never fuck with any Carolina Reaper Lube. That's a bad day. Just in, in theory alone. So, there you guys go. That's the unboxing. Um, I do have uh, another thing that's coming from Olight that I'm super excited about. But I don't think it's going to get here for a few days. But, you know, when it does get here, I will follow up with unboxing. I also got reached out to today by a company I'm not familiar with. Um, and they may send me something to review as far as the light. Uh, it did look interesting. There was like a weird thing on its tail cap that I'd never seen before. It almost turned the light into a quasi karambit looking thing. But that might not be intended use. But we'll find out. Uh, anyway that's it guys i just wanted to do an unboxing and share these lights with you guys because i think they're neat i really do uh and just in summary so i got oh my lord the magnet on this thing is amazing um wow the heft on this too i should i even should comment on that so you know i did get one of the element ones so they had a fire water earth and air uh, for me, the one that resonated the most was the water one. I thought the aesthetics on it, the way that they designed it, uh, was just amazing. You know, so, I mean, if I want to light up everything, it's not a problem, right? This guy is super good. Then I got, um, they had a blue pen. These are gone now, too. They do these things, and they do them in limited numbers. So I got the blue pen. Uh, this one I know for a fact is sold out. There's no more of these guys. You might be able to find an aftermarket or, or one of the other retailers. But as far as on Olight's thing, yeah, not going to happen. And then also, um, uh, this one I don't think was sold out. You might still be able to get up. And I know for 
uh, some of you that have a better discretionary income, they do have a four pack of these. But I think that that wholesale deal is done deal. And then freebie wise, you know, they sent these little, this little orb, um, Olight. I forgot what they call these bitches. Uh, Obobes. So they're bulbs. These are actually pretty innovative. A little bit different than uh, some of the big ones I have. And yes, these guys are rechargeable, uh, which is super nice. And they do give you this little sticker uh, on a metal coin. So you can bloop, stick it up and go from there. So that's kind of cool. The other thing that they gave me for free were these refills on the pins and the world's smallest fucking light. Now, they didn't say it's the world's smallest light. I'm just calling it that because I think it's fucking hilarious. But it actually works. And it was free. So that's fucking awesome. I know somebody saw it, uh, they were looking at it, and it was like, you know, you had to pay for shipping, so it was five bucks. Now that I'm fucking with this right here, like, I totally think this is worth, like, five bucks. Like, this is fucking hilarious. This is fucking great. So, anyway, that's it. That's, that's the unboxing on the old light shit. And look at that. Perfect timing. Oh, let me turn it off before I get... Before I get fucking copyright. I'm already getting a copyright flag right there already, anyway. But anyway, that's it for now. What's up, Bronx? Bronx, 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 Bronx. Oh, you got the fire one? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. It's neat, though. They're innovating, so I dig that. When they do shit like that, I'm like, I like it. I dig it. So, anyway, that's it. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell your friends far and wide. Until next time, motherfuckers, please be good to yourself, good to each other. Go out, live life to the fullest, ride the bus to the fall. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Ride the bus to the wheels, fall off, have some adventures, get some scars. Find some love and all that jazz, and I'll see you motherfuckers next time. And if you guys get a chance, throw Paula some positive vibes. She's inside of the uh, hospital with the COVID. So send her some positive things, and uh, hopefully she'll be good. All right, guys. I'm out.